Yeah, Kristaps, uh, before the game, uh, Rick told us that he had talked to you guys about, uh, you know, the fact that these playoff games are long and it was going to be an emotional night and you probably needed to manage your manage the emotions. Do you guys think that that's what got you tonight? You got off to the big lead and then they came back on you or what do you think happened? Uh, not necessarily. I think, I think it's just a mixture of things. We didn't have our best offensive night. Um, nor defensive, you know, we, we could do both better. Um, obviously, the game is long and a lot of emotions and, and a lot of momentum changes. Um, yeah, just, you know, they, 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 were, they were the better team tonight, and, and, and that's it. You know, we, we're going to look at the film, look at what we can do better, um, and come back next game with, you know, with a, with a fresh mind. Tim Cato. Tim Cato, The Athletic. KP, how would you assess your own performances on both ends? Sorry, say that again. How how would you assess how you played on both ends of the court? Um, below below what I can do, obviously, you know. Um, you know, just frustrated at moments and 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 you know, trying to keep my head in the right place where you know I, I keep playing hard, keep doing the things I can do, you know, on a defensive end. And, and uh, offensive rebounds and things like that to keep myself uh, engaged and 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 and, uh, and giving what I can to the team. Um, so yeah, uh, just you know, it's a lot, long game, a lot of emotions, but try to stay calm and 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 uh, and just you know do the things that I'm capable of doing. Tim McMahon. KP, uh, especially with the Clippers playing small, why do you think you weren't able to make your impact offensively tonight? Um, mm, just, you know, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's, it's, it's random, you know, it's a lot of random action and, and I definitely can do a better job of, of sealing the guards when I have a guard on me and, and, um, and also I have to, I have to, I have to score on those, you know, post-ups that I had, I had great looks and I just missed the shots. And sometimes it's like that. You miss shots, you miss the last, uh, a couple of threes at the end also, which were, you know, tough ones were, you know, were important ones. Um, um, so yeah, just, just, you know, frustrated a little bit with, with, uh, with the shots not going in, but then again, I can't, I can't really let that affect, uh, the rest of my game. So, uh, that's it tomorrow. I'll get some rest, um, get some work in and, and come back for next game. Last English is going to be Mac Engel. <laughs> Kristaps, when you look at the way you're playing in that fourth quarter, especially, did you feel like you were pressing too much, like you were trying to almost too hard? Myself or the team? No, yourself, your own game. No, I wouldn't say so. Uh, you know, the game wasn't really going my way, and, and I wasn't trying to force nothing. You know, I, if we have those mismatches, I have to be able to utilize that. You know, that's 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 part of my game. and. And uh, I have to be able to convert those into two points or a foul or, or a good shot from my teammates. So, um, yeah, I, I, I want to be better. And and, um, and that's it. You know, it's it's definitely we can we can do things better. We can do things better. And uh, but no, talking about the fourth quarter, I, I didn't feel like it. Maybe if I look at the film, it, it might look like that. But I don't feel like it. I, maybe I got I don't know two, three shots, good looks, open looks, just shot him. All right, we'll do two in Spanish. Pedro. Thank you. Christophs, uh, Pedro Silo, Univision Dallas. A diferencia de los playoffs en la burbuja, hasta ahora en estos playoffs con los Clippers, pareciera que tu desempeño no ha sido el mismo, como no ha estado a la par. Uh, ¿Cuáles son las razones crees que has, no has podido relucir tanto a diferencia de los playoffs del año pasado? Uh, yo creo que no estoy siendo tan utilizado. Eh, ahora que me está def defendiendo Kawhi, pues muchas veces lo intentamos sacar de, de la jugada. Y, y por eso pues estoy un poco un poco menos en la jugada ¿no? uh, y de, dependo más de si él ayuda y tengo algún tiro abierto o a, algo fácil uh, el año pasado me estaba defendiendo el, el grande entonces lo estábamos metiendo en muchas situaciones y, y no estaban cambiando estaban haciendo otras cosas y pues estaba más más involucrado en, en, en el ataque así que bueno tenemos que ver cómo ¿Cómo podemos hacerlo mejor ofensivamente? Ok, last one, Eric. 
KP, eh, una pregunta. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo describirías el ambiente que se vivió y las emociones de, después de desafortunadamente perder, pero también el ambiente que se vivió dentro de la arena que era sumamente indescriptible, ¿no? La verdad que fue increíble. El apoyo cuando, sobre todo, yo estaba, yo estaba un poco un poco sorprendido en el momento cuando entramos para calentar hubo un ruido que creo que no he escuchado en mi vida y estaba como diciendo no sé si lo han puesto en los altavoces ¿sabes? En, en, en el pabellón para que suene más porque la verdad que fue muy muy um, muy alto y, y, y bueno durante el partido también cualquier jugada cualquier parada en defensa todo el mundo se pone de pie aplaudiendo, apoyando y, y el apoyo, la verdad que aquí en los playoffs es, es espectacular. Awesome, thanks, Christoph. Thank you guys.